When our shots aren't going, um, we aren't able to stop the other team's shooters. We got, they got two guys shooting well, end of the shot clock twice. When we tied the game, we couldn't get up on them and keep them from shooting. You have to stop the guy from shooting. We've never got out of the mentality uh, that you have in high school where you, let, you hope, hope they miss. You have to get up and you have to guard the shooters. And we haven't done that all year, um, obviously, especially on the road. But uh, this game is absolutely, even some of the games that we won at home, we never stopped the other team's best shooter. We were just able to score more. Jim, with the defense, is it a lack of concentration? Is it a lack of identifying where the guys are? Is it just yeah, lack of effort? Yeah, maybe ask them. I'm not sure. I think they know where they are. I hope they do. They're right in front of them. It's not like they're hiding someplace. They're right there. Right there. We've done it all year. It's nothing new. Nothing new. At the beginning of the year, you uh, expressed that this might be one of the more talented guys. Right, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Before the season started, before practice started, I made a mistake. I tried to be optimistic, which you cannot do in this town because people like you and other people always go back. I've already corrected that ten times. On paper, looking at what we had coming in, we looked like we had a chance. We had more talent than we've had in a while. It's exactly what I said. Not in Syracuse basketball history. In a while. And after we started playing, I saw right away that we don't have that kind of a team. Guys learning things, trying to figure things out. You really, I, I, you never, ever as a coach. I learned, I should have learned 40 years ago, but I, I got old and I forgot. But I tried to be a little optimistic. And that's all anybody said the whole year. That's why coaches never say anything optimistic, ever. And I made a mistake. So that's it. I will never. I could have the Golden State Warriors next year here. And I'd say, I don't know how we're going to be. Because you can't say anything, something like that. How soon do you start thinking about next year? Well, I'm always thinking about it one way or the other. Always, it's always thoughts in that. How, what we're going to do, what we have to get done. Got some work to do. We'll look to bring somebody in. We'll see what happens. But I like the three guys that we've got commitments from. I think we'll try to find somebody else. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We got some good young players. We just got to get some help for them, and especially inside. I think the guys we have coming will help us. I think Pascal will be back. I don't know why somebody would ask him if he's coming back. I mean, did they think he would? Did somebody think he was going someplace? <laughs> why would you ask? That's like me asking my daughter. She's a junior. Are you coming back next year? I, I don't know. Is why we always ask people why they're, if they're coming back. I never could quite understand that. If somebody's not coming back, they'll tell you.